Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Black Rock Shooter Bunny figure. It is a, uh, a scale figure made by the company called Freeing, and I believe um, published by Good Smile Company. And this is a 1 fourth scale Black Rock Shooter Bunny figure. And she is absolutely amazing. I actually haven't been this like excited for a figure in such a long time. So here's her box. She shipped in a pretty uh, a pretty huge box. I ordered her through the Good Smile Company website. So they have a universal $20 shipping um, rule on their site where, you know, anything you order through them, it's only $20. Here's my little cat. I'm actually not used to I've never ordered a bunny girl figure before, so I was actually kind of surprised that she doesn't have a window. But I guess that makes sense because they have to package these pretty uh, pretty securely. So here are some of the, what is it, wax paper removed that Good Smile usually always ships her figures in. And here is her box art. It's showing some photos of her from different angles. You can see my little kitty out of the corner again. Here she is in her clamshell. This figure is absolutely huge. Um, this is definitely my biggest black rock shirt. This was some sort of design on the inside. I think I'm gonna try and see if I can put that when I display her. I think that'd be pretty cool because it matched the uh, color scheme of the figure. This is definitely the biggest Black Rock Shooter figure I have. I have the real Action Heroes figure, which I believe is like maybe, maybe one six scale of Black Rock Shooter. Um, and this is one four scale. So I think she's 18 or 19 inches tall. She, you can see here, like they had these little fake bunny ears. So for a second, I thought I actually had received like a broken one, but then I realized it's like the pegs that they put the placeholder for the pegs for the ears. Um, but she, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry about that. I've got a really short term memory. Back to, we'll look at the figure in the meantime. <laughs> her bangs can be removed and she has a uh, flame of course and uh, an alternate hair piece. Here's her face. She has a very clear face. This is the best sculpt I've ever seen. And best face, be best print. Like this is my favorite Black Rock Shooter figure it is that I am so happy to have her in my collection. I think that light blue was used in a lot of promotional images uh, material back in the day. So I think it was very fitting, but I think they could have gone with like a, uh, a deeper royal blue. Here's the back of her hair. Uh, hair. Um, I really like her shoulder blades. I think they did a really good job on the sculpt of that. Here are her little bunny, uh, bunny ears. They're very cute, very shiny. Everything is so high quality. Like there's like, I don't think I have a single like drop of paint missing or like, like out of place on this figure. It's absolutely incredible. As you can see, you can remove the little bangs. And they fit loosely, but very secure. It is really nice. Here's her with her little bunny ears. She's very soft, like her skin is very, very soft, very soft armpits. Here's her base. It's a very simple base, but I like it. And it kind of like matches with the classy theme of the figure. She fits into her base extremely secure. I am not at all worried about her like tipping over or anything like that. Here is her long legs. I know Black Rock Shooter is known for having like very elongated proportions. Some people say it looks kind of strange, but I grew, I grew up with um, clamp art. <laughs> so it looks actually kind of normal to me. Here's her, um, her little ponytail pieces. They are packaged underneath the main clam sh clamshell. They're very, very detailed. And although they're like, they're malleable that so they can move a little bit, but they're very like secure. Like I am so impressed with this figure. Putting the, there's my little kitty again. Um, putting the hair pieces where like 
it's a little tight but with a little bit of moving you can fit them in i didn't feel like i had to put a lot of pressure on the figure to shove them in but it was like enough to where it feels extremely secure this ponytail actually kind of touches i'm expecting to have paint transfers at least long term you can see here it, i can't tell if it touches or it like just just like barely misses it but it's pretty close and i i will probably have um paint transfers on the uh, skin sometime soon here's her in all her glory she's absolutely like look how big this is especially compared to like my other figures she's very thick like like very dense and her bunny suit is actually a dark 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 blue it's really nice at first i thought it was black but like in the light it's the perfect black rock shooter blue if that makes any sense here's her next to the inexhaustible figure you can just see obviously like inexhaustible looks like a little tiny chibi in this uh view and you can see more of her uh blue blue bunny suit here and here's what she was based on the original illustration black rock shooter figure and here's of course a black black blade version here's my cat sniffing once more cat for scale <laughs> I took her outside so you could try and see that that blue a little bit better, but uh, I don't think it worked because it's kind of evening time. As soon as I got her, I recorded this video, but you can see it's almost like sparkly at the same time. She's absolutely huge. I keep saying that. That's <laughs> I'm not really good at these figure reviews, but you know, I just wanted to show this like this figure. She cost me, I don't remember if I talked about this in the beginning, but she cost me I think in Japan she was 330 yen, like 33,000 yen. But with the USD rate, I paid a total of 280 for her, which is pretty expensive, but it's not like insanely expensive. Here are her shoulder blades again. Like I said, I really, really like them. It's like small details that make the figure look like a human that are in incredible. Here's her cute little tail. I wish they made um, a furry tail like that. I feel like they could have, I feel like they could have um, sculpted, not sculpted, like not sculpted the tail. I feel like they could have used a, um, like a little puff ball or something like that. So the tights on the figure are really secure, which is really impressive because it's like, you can tell that they were placed like deep inside the figure. So you don't see any seam when you rub on the, uh, the fishnet stocking. And also this um seam is like really really secure you can see here that i'm like moving it around and it's not like moving here is her next to the other black rock shooter scale figures i have you can see the obvious uh height difference she, a lot of complaints of this figure is that she did not come with a cannon which looking back like the cannon would have made it really masculine for a very feminine outfit and it probably would have been like really expensive a lot, of, a lot of people also complained about her price being so high compared to normal bunny figures um i don't usually buy uh bunny figures so i don't really uh i can't really say like i mean i guess it doesn't really bother me because it's my only one here's my little um black rock shooter nendoroid custom i made of with the bunny suit which i think matches the figure really well but you can just see the size difference like look at the nendoroid compared to the bunny girl like wow but a lot of people complain that um, she was really pricey. I'm not sure why. Honestly, it's probably the Black Rock Shooter tax. Like, Good Smile knows that a lot of people are going to buy this figure. So they're like, why not mark it up? But she... I, was like, I don't even know if I have space for her. I decided to take the Rock Cannon. I think that's what its uh, name is. Uh, for my real action real action heroes black rock shooter figure which is this one right here and somewhat like attach it to her i don't think i think i just did this for like uh, the video and the photo that way people can if they want you know to attach it as you can see here like the scale from black rock shooters canon because obviously this you know this canon doesn't even go with this figure is a lot different compared to the black rock shooter next to her um, which Black Rock Shooter's Cannon is like generally the length of her body, but you can tell here it's like not. But it still looks pretty good. 
you could definitely display it this way. I will say if you do display it this way, there will definitely be transfers, like paint transfers on her hand. So either prepare in advance and like tape up her hands a little bit so it doesn't transfer or buy two copies of the figure. That's always an option. But then you'd also like, if you also want to display the real action figure cannon with the real action figure Blackhawk shooter. Ugh. That's a lot of Blackhawk shooters. But I think she looks really good with this uh, cannon. I won't display her this way. I would like to, maybe. But it's like, I'm just too worried about the paint transfer. But uh, that was it. That was my little uh, short review. I tried not to make this video too long because I know like I tend to make videos like really, really long because I just can't stop talking. Um, but thank you so much for watching and let me know what figure you'd like to see me uh, review next. See you next time.